Hey everyone, it's Cindy. I always forget to introduce myself in these videos. So I'm gonna try to do better with that and start introducing myself for those who are new and haven't ever seen one of my videos before. So here's what's on the agenda today. We are building a wash station off the back of the van. We're gonna put some more shelving in here for the water jugs and we're gonna have a fold, folding table off the door. And I also have a few small projects I wanna get done as well. So we already took this panel off and went right here because we needed to see what's back here, which it's pretty hollow. And we're gonna try to use these holes that are already in here for our bolts. These are just one inch stainless steel bolts. And we may have to drill another hole over here for added strength on the one side. Then this will go back on there and we'll be drilling through this to attach our folding table. So these are the bolts that are gonna hold the box on that the table folds into. We did drill the other hole over here and I think they'll be strong enough. Our only concern is whether or not they're gonna to be too short. We may have to countersink them a little bit into the box. So another thing that I wanna do is paint this trim that runs along the back. I'm gonna put a layer of kills to help protect it from moisture a little bit. So I got some paint on the trim area here, and that's just to help protect it from moisture. I'm gonna do something a little more decorative along there later. But while I was doing that, Kevin has been working on the door, cabinet, and table drop down. And now what I'm gonna do is work on these shades that go across here and cover these compartments. I'm, what I'm using, and I did this just to save a little money, I have these beach mats that are made out of like a reed or grass-like material and they're naturally water repellent. So I'm going to use these, cut them down and make shades out of them that hang here on each. They'll be in three sections and I've got these little hooks that they'll hang on and those will get mounted probably up here. I'm trying to decide if I want to do it here or here. I think it'll probably be up here. But hopefully it'll work well. We'll find out. So Kevin has the frame for the table cabinet built. Right now he's just waiting for the glue to set up on the dovetail joints. And over here he has planed and biscuit joined a couple pieces of cedar on both of these. And those are going to be the table and the back of the cabinet. And what I've been doing is cutting these straw mats and I put these hooks in up here that they are going to attach to. So it just that simple I'll attach like that. And what I've, and the way that I've cut these is I'm just staying in between these vertical threads so that they don't unravel from side to side. And then I'm gonna have to hem the bottom. Right now I have basting tape on there to keep them from unraveling. And I'm gonna trim this one a little bit. I made it a little too wide, I think. And then I've gotta measure out the center and figure out what that width is gonna be. I need them to not be in the way of each other when I roll them up. And there'll be tabs back here that I can tie them when they're rolled up.
So I think we're done for the day. It's about dinner time and it's looking like rain's coming in. I feel a few drops already. Uh, this just needs to be hemmed. I decided to leave these, this middle one, the full width because it does try to shift around and this will actually help keep it from blowing a little bit. And Kevin's almost done over here. He's just got to get the back on here. He's got to glue it all, clamp it, and let it sit tonight. And then we'll get it mounted tomorrow and start putting together the shelving for the water tanks in the shower and everything. Uh, all in all, I think it was a pretty productive day. Uh, so Kevin finished building the table. It drops down like that. These ropes will help give it added support if something has a little more weight, like when I have water in this tub. The tub actually fits right in there like that when it's closed. And if you're not familiar with these tubs, these are just those collapsible tubs. Go like that. So I can set it on there like that. I need to wash something because there's a lot of times where I'm not going to want to wash things inside and I can just wash them right here. Things like when I'm when I'm cooking on the fire pit or whatever I don't want to take something really nasty in there and full of charcoal and I can wash it right here and I can do my hair in this I can wash laundry that sort of thing. This just collapses right back down and then it's right there close it up so now i just gotta paint it and get it back on there let me show you the pump that we got it's made by this company here i louvre i'm not sure how it's pronounced um but it came with this shower head here, the pump, and the battery, which charges by USB and a hook. And then it also came with this sprayer here. Now, I haven't tried it yet. I've charged the battery. That's this, this here. And I've got the pump in here. And I just use these two and a half gallon water tanks because they're easy for me to carry. But those will stay there. This will be in here. And I may come up with some sort of hook for this. I think that would probably work better. That's over here or under here, somewhere over here. And I'm going to turn it on and see if it works. Hopefully it will. Not sure what to expect. You hear it? I don't know if it takes a minute. I gotta get the air out of the line. That's not bad pressure. <laughs> Very cool. So I can draw my hair, wash my hair. <laughs> so <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that works good. Look at that. I mean, it really... Yeah, that'll actually work pretty good. I'll, I won't know until I've actually, I'm able to take a shower or something like that with it to see how much, how fast I drain these water tanks. But let me turn this off and put the other nozzle on here. This one doesn't have a trigger on it, so when I turn this on, it should just run. Yeah, so this would be the one to use if I wanted a shower. And I just take this, use this hook here, hang it on something, or, a suction, or the suction cup. I gotta get all that worked out still. 
but that actually works nice. <laughs> I can tell you right now, I've already used probably, it's down to here, but it was only filled to about here. So it's not too bad. I mean, you're gonna wanna conserve anyway, most of the time when you're trying to shower outdoors. Rinse, rinse down, suds up, rinse off. The other thing I got are these mats, which they're interlocking mats. And I wanted to get these squares like this because all I really need is like four of them and that's not too much to store right there so we put them together they go together just like this really easy And they're pretty comfortable on the feet. <laughs> and that way, I'm not standing in the mud, you know, when I'm taking a, sh a rinse off, a shower. <laughs> and now you're probably wondering, am I gonna just take a shower outdoors in front of everybody? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, um, I have magnets and I can take these same magnets down here that I have for the screen and a tarp and just put a magnet here on one part of the tarp a magnet here on the tarp stretch it over a magnet here and then a magnet over here and all this will be my own little private cocoon <laughs> so as i was saying i think what i need to do is put a bracket or something for this rather than have it hang on the hose I can just put it on the bracket and then it won't be so cumbersome. It'll be out of my way. And then I might want to do something that tapes this down so it's not trying to slide out of there while I'm pulling on it. But I'm really impressed with the pressure. Hopefully it'll last. I'll do a, a review on it after I've used it a few times. But. Just another way to make boondocking, which I'll be doing in the future, a little easier. So I know this was a shorter video, but I just wanted to show you what we're working on. There's all these little things now finishing up on the build, uh, but we're almost done with that. And I know that I'm gonna want some way to rinse off out and that sort of thing and this is a great solution without actually taking up room in the van so hope you enjoyed watching uh, if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe uh, and I will see you next time <laughs>